Hi there. Um, today's video, I'm going to demonstrate a tool that will allow you to, um, or algorithmic traders, to actually get even more backtest data or historical market data. So, um, if you're a manual trader and you don't run any CBOTs um, or automated trading systems, um, then this video might not be for you. Um, but if you're an algorithmic trader and you do run automated trading systems, and you do have CBOTs that trade for you, or you want to stress test your robots, um, then this is video to really help you out because what I'm going to show you now, so you should also already be familiar with the automate tab down here. If I click on this, um, this is the automate window for C trader. This is where you mostly run your automated trading systems. So I'm just going to open up any kind of symbol here, your USD. And on the chart, I'm going to go click on the back test tab at the top here. Now, if you have a look, the historical data that you can get hold of for Euro USD with IC markets is 10 years worth of backtest data. So you can run your robots or, or systems on data that goes back 10 years. So it's like stress testing your robot over different market conditions to see how it performs. Now, I've tried this with FX Pro as well, and it only goes back to 2011. But you can actually get an extra seven years of historical data using our tool and using some free data that you can download from Ducas Copy. So you can go from 2004 to 2017. Now that's just Forex. And at the same time, for indices and other symbols, you can also get much more data than is actually uh, shown by or provided by your broker on the Cedarator platform. So if you do want a lot more data, then this is the video for you. And I'm gonna go through now and actually show you how to do it. So I've started the robot already. Uh, the C, sorry, I've started this application already and I've loaded in the file because it takes a little bit of time to do it and it's only a small file. Uh, but the first step you do to do this conversion, so the whole idea is with Ducas Copy, they give you the data, but it's not in the format. It's a CSV file, but it's not in the format that you can load into CTrader. Um, if you wanted to load backtest data into CTrader, you just open up the backtest settings and in here you've got one minute bar in CSV file open prices. So you can only you can only load in one minute bar data, which means it hasn't got the spread built into the tick data. So it's only one minute bar, um, but you can load in this external source of data, which I'm going to show you now to get 17 years or up to 17 years worth of data. So I'll go back to the application again. And the first thing you do is you click on this little button here saying Ducas Copy. That takes you to the Ducas Copy website. Now in here, I'm going to click on majors and I'm going to click Ord USD. I'm going to click one minute bar there. So I'm going to do candlestick one minute bid. And I'm only going to go from one month to one month. So I'm going to choose um, February the 20th to February the March. And you need to select all UTC and GMT. Now when I download this, um, you see it comes up the window to say log in. It's very simple. You just do a registration. You can click easily register by clicking on create an account. It just asks you for a bit of information. And they've never asked me for any more information. Um, and you log in. And once you've logged in, you'll see it's downloading the data. Now that's gathering the data and it's um, putting it into a CSV file format that you can download onto your um, downloads directory. Just click save as CSV. Now I'm going to explain, I'm going to reset this. I've already downloaded the file recently. It's down here. I'm going to reset that and it allows you to choose more. I just want to stress that if you do want to go back from 2004 to 2021, which is 17 years, because it's so much data, you cannot select your start date to 2004 and the end date to 2021. It will be so much data that the web browser will actually time out. So. The best thing to do, which I found, is just to do two years worth of data at a time. So you do 2004 to 2006, 2006 to 2008, 2008 to 2010, and you keep doing this until you've got the entire date range. Now you're going to end up with multiple um, CSV files like this one. If I just show you this in the folder, this is what was downloaded from Ducas Copy. So you'll end up with multiple of these, about 50, 60 uh, megabytes each. But the tool that we have allows you to merge those files into one single file that you can then load into CTrader. So for example, if this was, um, say you now got two years worth of data and you've downloaded it um, as an example, um, on the tool, you just click on source file and you load in the source file here, the one I downloaded, to click next. Now I've already loaded it in because I don't want to go through that again because it took like two or three minutes. Um, if it's a larger file, it might take 15 minutes or longer. But once you've got the source file and it's loaded, um, actually, 
I'm going to have to do it again because I stopped it and it needs to actually show a export folder. So I'm going to have to do this again anyway and load it in. Um, my mistake, really, because I loaded one in last time, but it didn't actually give you an option to export folder. So once it's loaded in, um, it'll allow you then to actually create an export folder that you can download it to. Now, um, there's three steps for doing this, or four steps, actually. One step is to download the data from Ducos Copy. The second step is to actually load in the source file that you've downloaded into this system, which can uh, it, it waits while it formats the source. Um, you then select the export folder, which is step two, of where you want to export the file to, and then you convert it to CTrader format. And at the bottom here, we'll just go through the different um, values. I'm just going to minimize this and maximize it, because I did that last time, and it, it finished. Yeah, weird. So it's actually installed the file now, and I select my export folder. So I want to download it to uh, another downloads directory. I'm going to call it market data. So I want to download it to there. Now, it actually already appends the date and time for that file. And then I just convert to CTrader. Now, what I was talking about before, if you had multiple files that you've downloaded, two-year blocks of files, once you've, down, once you've done the first file, it will, not it, will it will notice that you've downloaded the first and converted the first file. And then if you want to append it, you just tick this box here. And that means that the next second file that you download in, for the next two-year block, um, when you convert it to CTrader format, it, it merges it into one file. So you end up with, say, if you had 10 60 meg files, you'd have a 600 meg file at the end. So I don't need to do that. I'm just going to click Convert to CTrader. Now, if you look there, there's uh, 28,000 rows that are going to be converted, and it's currently converting it now. Anytime you can just click on the Stop Converting button, and it will stop it. Now, once this finished, I'm hoping this works. So once this is finished, um, I'm going to open the published folder of where it's located, and I'm going to load that into CTrader now and show you what you've got. And it just be one month's worth of data, but it's just an example to show you um, how it works. OK, conversion is complete. If I open up the folder, there's the file that's been converted. It's a very small file size. So what I'm going to do is close the application now. And I'm now going to go to CTrader up here, and I'm going to load in one minute by CSV file. Now, it's come up with red because we don't have a file. I click this little folder button there, and I select the file that I've downloaded here. OK, now it's picked up. It's one month, one month's worth of data. So 21st to the 2nd, 2021 to 19th of the 3rd, 2021. So if I just run this, it shouldn't really do a lot. Oops, I don't want to run it by mistake. I don't want to run it, I want to run a back test. So I just run the back test button. OK, it's come up. There's no settings in this, so it just come up with any old random data. That's why it hasn't come up with anything. Anyway, what I want to show you is uh, the amount of data that's come through and the type of data. So I'm going to click default. Now, these candles that you can see, the open, close, high and low, this is the data, the correct data that's come through from this file. So this CSV file um, that's come in. Um, so for those of you that want to just know a little bit more detail about the type of data coming in, this might be worth it. So if I actually now go to the downloads directory and I open up this file, it will open up Excel. And it's going to show you the format of the file that's come in. OK. I'm going to close that. Oh. OK, so I'm going to open up the windows. So it's got the time, the GMT time for the data. Now it's got the open high, the open price of the candle when the candle started. It's got the highest price, the lowest price, and the closed price. And it's also got volume, so it includes volume as well. So this is the format you need to load in data into CTrader. The data that came in from Ducos Copy was not in that format. It was in a different format. So the Ducos Copy, if I was to open it up, you would notice that it's very different. So what I'm going to do now is just close this. So that data that you saw in that Excel file corresponds to each of these candles. So where a candle would have a open, close, high, and low, this is the data that's being shown there. Now, if you have a look, it's kind of unbroken data. It's good, clean data that's come in. So you can compare it with CTrader data as well to make sure that you're happy with it. But I'm pretty sure that the data that you get from Ducos, Ducos Copy is quite clean. So if I was actually now go to um, Viewing Options and Tick Volume, this is the volume that's come in on the file. Um, it might not be full volume, so I wouldn't expect it to be full volume. Unless you use a trading system that uses volume, I wouldn't worry too much. Um, so that's it. That's the data that corresponds to what you've got. And it's just got one month's worth of data. It's a very easy tool to use. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is drag our website across. And I'm going to show you where to find all this stuff if you want to actually download it and give it a try. 
So you go to our website, clickogre.com, you go to trading software and you go to um, trading strategies and historical market data. Now these files here are all files that we've already downloaded from Ducas Copy and used this tool to convert it into um, a single file that you can then load into CTrader. So if I was to actually um, open up any of these, I can actually get 16 years worth of data. I think this was done a year ago, so it's probably 17 years now. Now, what we started to do is add um, other data files. So this is a free data file that goes from 2004 to 2011. And the reason we've done that is because um, you can back test your data, your, you can back test your automated system from 2004 to 2011, and then do a separate back test by taking the CSV file out. So if I don't want the CSV file anymore, um, I pretty much just open that and I go back to one minute bars, and then I've got the full date range. So it'll allow you to back test your system from 2004 to 2007. If you're happy with the results, you then change your back test settings and you can go from 2011. 11 to 2021. So um, we've just started doing a few files there. And um, did I, my website just go missing? I think it did, didn't it? Let me just find it back again. So, oh no, it didn't. It's on an actual different site. Okay, so, okay, so now we've got 2004, 2011. So we're starting to do these files that you can download and um, it actually goes into detail about how to do it. If you scroll down here, it shows you how to get the free historical data, uh, the kind of data type you're using, how the data is converted uh, and all the rest of it really. So if you do want to look at the tool, I'm just going to click on it now. It's on sale actually now. By the time you watch this video, it might be too late, but it's on sale till this Friday. It's normally sold at 29.99. Um, if I scroll down, it's got more pictures of it and it just goes into detail. Like I, I showed you on the video of actually how to do the data conversion. And this is the, an old video, but I'm going to replace this video now. And um, we've also got how to install the CBOTS C Trader. So if you're unsure how to install it, just go here. And if you need to chat to us, we've got a, a live Telegram chat group. You can chat to us and find out. Um, I'm hoping to put a few more uh, free bits of market data in there. So these examples um, just pretty much just show you how to um, use the tool and how it can be used to load in extra data. And I hope you see the power in this is that you can actually now um, stress test your trading system over a much longer period, um, which would be showing you different market conditions. And I know market conditions are always evolving and changing, um, but the cycle is almost the same. If, for example, you want the free tool, we do do a free tool that allows you about one year's worth of data. So you can download this uh, from our website and just use it free of charge. I'm not sure if it's the most recent one, but um, it's good enough. Okay, that's it. Um, if you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up um, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.